Hi, it's Bill with Molly. Many of you know I answer all our online tech questions, and often I like to share with you the common ones that come in time and time again. So today we're going to talk about identifying main bearings. The story goes something like this. I get an inquiry and the person says, hey, I've got an MB3291H bearing for my engine, and no one has a main set. I don't know what to do. Well, I wanted to explain to you why that happens. If you look at this Subaru set that I have laid out here, what you're going to see is I have one. This is the flange bearing. Okay. I have two. This is a straight shell bearing with a groove in it, as you can see here. And I have three. This is a straight shell bearing with no groove. So what I have here in this Subaru set is three distinct parts. Well, I couldn't just lump one part number on there like MB2258H because we wouldn't know what parts to get out and put in to make this set. So the way we do this in manufacturing is each individual bearing gets a part number. Then we have a bill of materials and it says we need four of these, four of these, and two of these to build a main set. Now the main set gets an MS part number, always an MS part number, and that means main set. MB, of course, means just single main bearing, so the MS set is what you need. So what I do is I take that number that you've given me, and I take our old Clevite catalog here, like I've got right here, and in the back of this catalog, in fact, I shouldn't bend the pages down like that, but in the back of this catalog are about five or six pages of MB part numbers. And when I find the one for this engine, MB3291H, over to the side it will say, that goes in set MS2258H. It's that simple. You take that part number then to your supplier and he'll say, oh yeah, I have those on the shelf. I can ship them today. Boom, we're finished. So it's that simple. Now, you won't have this catalog. However, if you want to do this yourself, you can go to our website and download a PDF of this catalog and go to the index and it'll tell you what page the MB part numbers start on. Or it's much simpler just to go to our website and click on the box that says need help. Send me the message. I'll send you an answer. I do this so often I can look it up in just a minute or two. I'll send you the answer. You can buy the bearings. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for choosing Clevite.